Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to discuss top 5 note taking apps for Android. So let's start. The first note taking app is Samsung Notes. So guys in Samsung Notes you can do the categorization of your notes into folders and subfolders. For example I create different folders over here and in these folders I also create subfolders according to my subjects and then I create notes in them as well. So this is the first thing. The second thing is if you open a new note from here and you want to bring uh, some image or some text from uh, Google to your notes, you can also easily bring. So what you have to do is just take out this panel, the side panel from here and you see this Samsung internet browser, you just drag it over here okay and then for example i randomly search uh, some images for the heart anatomy and i want to uh, uh, put them into my notes i can easily drag it using my s pen so you can see over here i can just drag it over here okay so you can see and i just put it like this and then if you want to add it you can also add it um, same way i can also uh, bring any kind of uh, text from uh, the google into my notes for example if i am searching something on any website and i want to bring it to my notes for example if i want to bring this text into my notes i can also bring it i just have to select it like this okay and then simply same way just hold it okay and then just drag it over here okay you can see over here now i can easily drag it any text or any image into my notes and then if you want to add it or if you want to change the position you can also do it so this is the second thing uh, the third thing is uh, the handwriting tool because you have the s pen so you can use the handwriting tool so you can write anything over here you can see okay you can write anything over here you want to label you can label the things as well uh, so guys you can also convert your handwriting into the text for example if you select this tool and then if you want to write something it will convert into the text so you can see over here the other thing is you can also annotate your pdf for example if i go back and then uh, i will show you so there is a, a specific icon over here it says import pdf so you can easily import any kind of pdf and then you can annotate that pdf as well uh, so for example i will show you so there are some pdf so i just select one pdf so for example i select this pdf here okay so uh, you see over here uh, for example this pdf if i want to annotate it i can easily annotate i can write over here okay if i want to highlight something i can also highlight okay so all the tools are available for the pdf as well guys you can also sync your notes if i go back i will show you in the settings so if you go into the settings you see uh, you can sync it with the samsung cloud and then you can uh, share it with other uh, samsung devices so guys there is also a sh shape tool is available for example if you want to create any kind of shape uh, for example there is a shape tool as well so for example if you create some kind of circle you can see over here you can create any kind of neat shape as well which is really really important uh, for these students and uh, guys your notes will be automatically saved uh, when you finish your work you don't have to save them uh, manually it they will be automatically saved okay the other thing is you can also log your notes so this is about the samsung notes the second note taking app is microsoft OneNote. so in microsoft OneNote, you can easily sync your notes if i go over here these three dots so if you go to settings you have the information related to the sync you just have to create your uh, microsoft account and then you can easily sync your notes the second thing is about microsoft OneNote is you can also do the uh, categorization you can see you can create new notebook and then you can create this section and then you can create different pages or different notes in uh, this app so it has all necessary tools for example if i open a new page and you go to the draw section so you have all the um, uh, different type of pens available so you can write anything you can use your pen option then you have the highlighter options okay and then if you go to the uh, insert 
Android tab, you have all the attachment options. For example, if you want to attach some kind of image, you can do it. And uh, then we also have uh, different type of tags option. So you know, for example, if you select from here, you have different tags option. You, you see there is different uh, options over here related to the phone number, uh, website, password, projects. So all the option also the link uh, option is also available. If you go to the home, you have the options of all uh, different uh, type of text options. For example, if you want to make it bold, highlighter, if you want to change the alignment, so all the necessary options are available. The third note taking app is Note Shelf. So in Note Shelf, you can also do the categorization by creating the folder. You just see this icon of plus sign with the uh, folder. So once you click it, you can create any kind of folder. You can give it any name. Okay. And then you can easily uh, create a notebook in that folder uh, by just uh, uh, clicking this plus sign. So once you open this, it gives you uh, like different options, new notebook, import document, quick create so for example i create the new notebook option so once i uh, select this one it asks me what kind of template i want and uh, uh, what kind of uh, 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 notebook i want so i just uh, open it like this one and then in this i have different tools available for example if you want to use the pen tool there are three different type of pens option with different uh, colors and different uh, thickness as well so you can write over here okay and then we also have the highlighter option uh, so highlighter option is also there and uh, the other thing uh, which is really amazing about this uh, uh, app is it also give you the shape tool option so this is the shape tool so you can create any kind of shape so you can see over here okay so whatever shape you want you can create in uh, this tool you can also export your notes okay so if i select this option you can uh, sh uh, share this okay so for example i select all pages okay so you can uh, uh, for, uh, select the uh, two types of format the first one is png and the second one is the pdf so you can export your notes as pdf as well you can also create a backup for your notes for example if i go back okay and then i select this setting option then you see it is giving you the option of cloud and backup if i select it you see it gives you different uh, uh, backup options dropbox google drive onedrive evernote or webdrop so all uh, these backup options are also available it also give you the uh, pen pressure sensitivity option as well for example if i go to settings again and uh, uh, here you have the stylus option and once you click it you see over here it is giving you the pen uh, pressure sensitivity option as well you can enable it uh, as well to have more uh, unique experience so the next app that i'm going to talk about is squid app so in the squid app it also give you the categorization option as well if i select this plus sign over here you see it is giving me different options you can import the pdf you can import squid note you can create a new note or default note for example i select this new note option so it gives me different page layout option so you can see over here it giving me the grid option uh, the math and engineering option okay the music sports and the planners and list so all different type of uh, page layout option it is giving so for example i select this um, uh, college rule so you can see this is uh, your note so here you have all the tools so if you want to use the pen so all pen tools are available for example razor if you want to select something the the shape tool the text tool you can also see and there is a different thickness option and then we have the pressure sensitivity option so you can write here anything to create your notes uh, so you can also export your notes okay so if you want to export it gives you uh, different options so if you want to create uh, the file format in the pdf so you can convert your notes into pdf into squid note the png and jpeg as well if uh, you want to create a backup you can also create a backup for example if i go back okay so if uh, you go over here you see there is an option in the settings so if you go into the settings, you see there is a backup and restore option. So you see there is a cloud backup and then there is a local backup option. So you can backup your notes as well in uh, this app. The next app that I'm going to talk about is the uh, Flexil. So the Flexil is a note taking app. In this app, you can also uh, do the categorization of folders and subfolders as well. And then if you select this plus sign, it is giving you the different option, quick note, new note, you know, file, 
or new folder for example i select the quick note uh, so it will open a new note for me new page for me and here you have all the necessary tools on the top this is like a pencil tool so you see there are different uh, pencil option thickness option and color option you can write here anything okay so guys you can also annotate pdf in flexil for example i have different pdf files so for example i open uh, this pdf file okay and then if you want to annotate you can also annotate it if you want to write something you can write okay you can also create um, a different type of lines underlines as well and uh, there is also one more option which is a, a pop-up note option so for example i select this one this option from here so a new note will open and if i want to take some information i can put it over here for example i want to select this part over here uh, this text okay and now i want to drag it into a new node i can easily drag it so you can see over here i can easily drag it like this and i can put it over here and then if you want to make it big you can also make it big and then you can also extend this page you can also make it bigger because it's a new node so for example if i want to make a new page so this uh, note is open now i can edit this note and uh, i can use this note as well okay so if you want to write something you can write over here okay if you want to highlight something you can highlight there is a highlighter option as well so this is how you can edit and uh, annotate pdf in you know, flexil app and then if you want to uh, uh, share there is also sync option also available so if you go to settings okay so you can see the backup option is also available data backup or uh, data restore options are also there so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much